Are you a person out there is trying to figure out like what are the steps to buy a home? I've been renting so long and I don't know how to buy a home. I'm confused how much money I need, the down payment, do I need to put 20% down, or what are the, the costs? So in this video today, I'm gonna to teach you how to buy your first home. Hey, if you know who I am, my name is Deepa Phillips, your Denver real estate agent for EXP Realty. And if it's your first time on my YouTube channel, welcome to YouTube channel. And if you're a buyer out there or a seller or investor, and I just want to be a great resource for you, and I just want to be your realtor for life. And before you do anything, please make sure you subscribe and like my channel. And I, what I do is I like to put out great content week after week to just educate you on what's going on with Denver. Your first step, how to buy a home. So you want to meet with a real estate professional. So when you meet with a real estate professional, what they're going to do is they're going to do a buyer consultation with you. And they're going to figure out what your must have is. Like what you're looking for a home, what school district, how many bedrooms, like everything they want to do. And they're going to go over the documents, like the buyer agreement. What a buyer agreement means is that it's kind of like your pink slip. Is your agreement letting you know that your agent is going to represent you on your behalf, negotiate for you, fight and die until you, you get that property that you want. Your second step, how to buy a home, is that you need to get pre-approved. So when you get pre-approved, you're going to meet with a lender professional. A lender professional is going to ask you for your bank statements, your taxes, and your pay stubs, which could be a 1099 or a W-2. To get all the information to put in the system, the system will let you know how much you're approved for, and that's the amount you could use to buy a home. So the third step, how to buy a home, is that you need to tour properties. So when you get the amount that you're approved for from your lender, you let your real estate agent, the amount that you're approved for, what the real estate agent is going to do is that they are going to send you homes that you're criteria your wish list that you did in step one and any homes that you like the agent will book a showing for you to see the home and usually when agent shows you the home they want to do between like two to six homes per showing tour because you don't want to look more than six homes because when you do is that you get overwhelmed and you forget what home you like but when you look at these homes Make sure you take notes to see what home that you like. And also talk to the agent to walk you through and let you know the key things in the home while you're looking at the home. The fourth step for you to buy a home is you make an offer. So you find a home. This is a home. You're very excited. You want to make an offer at home. So you meet with the agent or you talk to the agent on the phone. like, hey, I want to make an offer on 123 Main Street. So what the agent is going to do is that they're going to look at a comps. They're going to comps. So what comps is that they're going to look at comparable properties of homes that was sold last 30, 60 days in a mile radius and see what the homes are sold for to make sure that you write an offer. What the agent is going to do is going to go over important dates, like what dates that you want to you know, close on a property. And they're going to let you know like the inspection when you get the inspection done then they ask you for earnest money how much earnest money you want you want to put in they're going to go to every very important details in this contract to make sure to make sure your offer is a strong offer so your offer can get accepted your first step is negotiation so what negotiation means is that the buy side the sell side will negotiate back and forth to make sure they agree on the dates the deadlines closing if you want things that are property or not, and it goes back and forth. So it usually happens within 24 hours or it could take a few days. But when both sides negotiate and both agree on terms, then, then you are under contract or in escrow. Your sixth step is inspection. So when you do inspection, you want to make sure you, you hire a licensed inspection because anyone could do inspection. If they're not licensed, you don't want that and something could happen. So make sure you hire a licensed inspector. So 
When a licensed inspector, what they're going to do, they're going to go in the property and they'll look for major health and safety issues in the property. They'll make sure everything is at code that, so you could purchase a home. And the state of Colorado for inspection is that the things that you want to make sure when you do inspection is you want to make sure for radon because one out of four homes in Colorado have radon because Colorado is a mountainous town. And also do a sewer scope because lots of homes and the Denver metro area are very, very old and you want to make sure the sewer lines are not clocked up. And so these are the things that you want to do for inspection. Also, inspection costs will cost between three to eight hundred dollars depending on the square footage of the home. The seventh step is appraisal and underwriting. So when everything's all good for your inspection and you the buyer side you the buyer and the seller both agree on anything that needs to be fixed, then you have appraisal and underwriting. So for appraisal is that the lender will order appraisal and go to the property. What appraisal is that they will go to your property and see if the home is worth what the list price. So if the home, if the appraisal comes back list or above, you're good. But if the appraisal comes under list, then you need to find a way to talk to the sell side and see, all right, the home came under list price. What can you do? Can you bring the price down? Can you meet me halfway or whatever? Then if you're, if the appraisal is good, then after that you have underwriting. So what underwriting is going to do is they're going to ask for any final documents that they might need from you to make sure you guys are good at clear or close. Also, when you're in this step, hear me out. This is very, very important. Make sure you don't quit your job or do buy any major purchases. If you do that, it could mess up your closing. But anything you're not unsure, call your lender or talk to your agent about this. Very, very important. Your eighth step and final step is final walkthrough and closing. So you want to make sure you do your final walkthrough through the property with your agent to make sure your property is the same when you did the inspection. Make sure that the seller didn't take anything or damage. And when you do your final walkthrough and everything looks good, you go to the tile company to close your property. And please make sure you bring your ID and make sure anything that you need to send to the the title company make sure you do it the night or a couple days before and while through so your closing could go smooth and close and when you go there you bring your id you sign your documents the person in the title is going to go over these documents and make sure you basically sign your life away and if everything's all good and you're funded you get the keys and you're a homeowner so i talked about eight steps how to purchase your home as a first-time home buyer and if you have any other questions how to purchase a home please book a call at a bottomless link on my youtube channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the great content I'm delivering today, please smash the like button. 